this is Cornholio. We're going to do a little review today on this fantastic looking lid right here. This is the new and brand new, well it came out last year, but it's brand new to me, Showy Neotech 2 in gloss black. And it is a fantastic helmet and I've made a couple of videos and something was wrong with my recording. I did not know it until I got home this morning and tried to fix them up. So let's go over a few things. It is a modular helmet. It is one of, if not the quietest helmets out there as far as modular goes. Uh, Showy has been uh, battling Schubert and who's the clear winner? To me, I prefer this Showy Neotech 2. I have a Schubert, it's an E1, it's uh, the C3 Pro. It had the Cardo neck roll communication system on it and that was the biggest piece of garbage I ever had in my life. So, I didn't use it, I put a Senat 10C Pro on it. Uh, this Shoei Neotech 2 has the um, Senna SRL system right here. And the microphone on this comm system is about as good as anything you will ever find. And I'm not kidding. The, the mic I'm using right now is my little lavalier mic with my Tascom handheld recorder. It just does a way better job than anything out there. But just let me tell you how good the center microphone is on this system. I can be doing highway speeds, 70, 80 miles per hour with the helmet on and of course with this closed down and locked. And the people I'm talking to do not even know I'm on the motorcycle. And that is no joke. I've made probably 10, 12 phone calls since I've had the system. And of course you all know this big fat Harley here is a has the 110 Screaming Eagle engine in it and I've got tuned Vance and Hahn pipes on it. And they're about as loud as any motorcycle out there. I'm not kidding. Loud, loud, loud. But this helmet, oh my goodness, it does a job of drowning out the sounds. Some people say you still need earplugs. Eh, I guess that depends on the shape of your head. Uh, the Schubert fits decent, moves a good bit of air. These little uh, vents right here on the chin do okay. There's a two position vent up top, slide it forward, middle and back, and it does a pretty good job of moving some air up in here, but the comfort level of this helmet beats anything I have ever seen in my life. No other helmet have I ever put on my head fit me this perfectly. I would swear that they came and put a mold around my head and made this helmet custom for my noggin. That's just how good it is. And I'm not kidding. I liked the Schubert for what it was. I didn't like it for a thousand dollars and then another three hundred dollars for the comm system which turned out to be crap. Uh, of course, I didn't pay a thousand dollars for my E1. I didn't pay seven hundred dollars for this one. The prices are starting to come down. The Senate Com system retails two ninety nine. I'm seeing them for two hundred and sixty nine on uh, Amazon right now. I'm seeing this helmet for five hundred fifty, sixty, seventy bucks, something like that. Man, can't beat it. Uh, the wrap around neck rolls. Got a comfort, quiet comfort, something or another, and the chin guard uh, seals off pretty much everything. Uh, no buffeting at high speeds, not, I mean, not at all. And you can grab the modular and open it up all the way and then push it up into its locked up position. It's just a harder detent, 
and you can ride with it open and it still meets the safety qualifications or you can slam it down like I've got it down now I will say this thing comes down and locks into place a heck of a lot better than Schubert could have ever dreamed of doing the Schubert feels like plastic and you have to manipulate it by holding both hands and wiggling the cheeks and getting it upright to getting it just right to get it to close and lock and that's every single time I have closed mine I'm not even going to bother with that Cardo comm system they had with it just just forget it it's not even wasting my time talking about it but this center system the microphone in this center system uh, is probably one of the best there is and my little wires floating around I forgot my little clippies um, what else can I say uh, interchangeable removable washable liners all that good stuff that's pretty fantastic uh, the extra small lids come with the 39 millimeter cheek pads the medium large and extra large come with 35 millimeter cheek pads and the 2XL comes with 31 millimeter cheek pads I opted to purchase an extra set of cheek pads to 31 millimeters because the 35s weren't real tight but they were a little bit tighter than I wanted them to be so hey, I found a pair on Amazon for 49 bucks and I bought them <clears throat> so that's what you get I wish uh, Sho uh, Showy would come up with uh, a way for you to try them on and get the size that you want but I understand keeping a bunch of different sizes stocked at all their locations is yeah that's pretty ridiculous it really is so I see why they don't do it what's up I see why they don't I understand it's all a business it's all a marketing issue uh, and they make them for the standard size fitting heads so you're going to get <clears throat> 39 35 or 31 millimeters depending on what size you buy I will say that they are interchangeable <clears throat> in all lids the sizes the sizes don't matter uh, as far as will a 31 millimeter fit in my extra small or my 2XL yes it will it'll fit me to one of them uh, the sleek design of this helmet this little uh, I don't know air fairings right here I guess that's more for sport riders I've got a windscreen as you can see I got a windscreen on my motorcycle here and it does a good job of keeping air off of my helmet however I still find that I can feel that little breeze blowing through the top vents it also has a little breath guard here kind of keeps your breath from blowing up on the wind on the uh, visor uh, and it works I mean everybody can talk about Schubert and say and I'm not, not I'm, I'm, I'm comparing it to Schubert because that's its competition um, I'm not really knocking Schubert they're a great helmet I mean I'm not getting rid of mine I'm keeping it used for other stuff um, I just took the uh, baseball cap off of my Schubert uh, I got it because I almost bought a BMW I was thinking about it I still probably will but I took that off because that little baseball cap sun visor up there it does vibrate on the Schubert and their pin lock system is not that great uh, in the cold winter mine fogged up quite often and in the rain and when it was really really hot um, I've not had this of course I got it up right now but I've not had this visor pin lock fog up on me at all and everyone's told me that showy wrote the book on the pin lock systems getting them to work perfectly and, and this one does and look at the pin lock I mean it covers the whole view I can see the, the little pin lock uh, studs over here in the corners of my eye but that's it I mean other than that you wouldn't know you had a pin lock in here this thing fits a helmet really good and really covers up the full um, visor <sighs> nope no fogging okay so the little breath guard nose guard thing you know does its job uh, of course I keep this open all the time I don't know if I close that up <sighs> nope I'm blowing hot breath on it and it's not fogging up even with that closed off 
Uh, so that's pretty good. And of course, it's extremely humid over here in the New England states. Uh, just like it is down in Alabama and Mississippi and Florida. It's very humid up here as well. Um, I never had a problem with the Schubert fogging up when I was in New Mexico. Uh, I did in Texas. I did in New Hampshire. Uh, and I did in Arkansas and Alabama and Mississippi. And uh, it did up here as well. So I don't know if I got a dud or what. But with that uh, Schubert. But man, this showy. It's top notch on everything. Uh, oh God, I, forgot, I almost forgot. I forgot this in a couple other videos too to mention. It's a good thing I didn't post it. Uh, there's one issue that I have with this showy. Not only is it the best fitting helmet I've ever put on my head, it's the only helmet in my life of 48 years of riding motorcycles. And that's a lot of lids I've had, folks. This one doesn't fold my ears over. I can actually put it on and tug out on the sides just a little bit and it slips on and my ears, the pockets for the ears are big enough that my ears don't fold over. I mean, how great is that? Does that seem like a little weird thing to be talking about? No, my ears don't fold over when I put the helmet on. Usually it's just a daily thing. You put a helmet on, you gotta reach up and tuck your ears up. Well, I guess if you got dumbo ears like me, and mine aren't that big, but... But I, I just, I, when I first put it on, it was like, oh my God, my ears are, are sticking up. They're, they're not folded over. And once in a blue moon, you might have to, but about nine out of 10 I, times that I put this helmet on, I don't have to mess with my ears. Now, that's the note there. I mean, and, and yet it feels, it's, it's, I mean, you can see it's sealed up all the way around my neck. Everything's sealed up. No wind getting in. I can feel it around the back of my neck, the sides, and and under here my chin. Other helmets, there's gaps. The Schubert was so daggum tight it rocked the helmet forward. My eye, uh, eyebrows right here were like stuck way up in there and I was riding a bike like this. I was having to cream my neck up a lot. You know, you get used to it or you don't notice it or I don't know. I, I just know that I've already done a three hour trip on this bike with this helmet on. And at the end of that <clears throat> three hour ride, I, I, no, no fatigue. No having to stop and stretch my neck and go, oh, yeah, and all that stuff that you see everybody do. You guys know what I'm talking about. Anyway, I wasn't gonna put a GoPro on it because it was just too pretty. But you know how that goes. I'm gonna make videos. I'm gonna do stuff. I probably deleted 80 or 90 videos that I've made because they just wasn't what I wanted them to be. And I'm not really good at it, but I have fun with it. I don't have a big production. Uh, I don't have any sponsors. Nobody's paying me for my opinions or my reviews or anything. I see something I like, I buy it and I use it. And that's what I talk about. Um, I love these little back roads up here in, in New Hampshire. Oh, just gorgeous up here. Even on a cloudy day, it's beautiful up here. There's always a little breeze. Now we've had some 90 degree days up here already and uh, that was uh, that was a little rough. Nothing like the 103, 104 days in the south or 114 days in the desert. <clears throat> As y'all know, I'm a travel nurse and I go all over the place. Uh, and I try to get up here in the northeast uh, for the summer. It's just nice. At night, it chills down usually to about, you know, 40s, 50s, or 60s. Uh, during the day, you know, 80s are the norm. Uh, of course, we do get the hot days too. But, uh, hey, you know what I'm gonna say? If you have the option to move up north during the summer and then move back down to south during the winter, wouldn't you do it? Hey, that's what I do. But anyway, I just wanted to talk about this Shoei Neotech 2. Uh, I give it a thumbs up. I think Shoei hit a major grand slam home run with this helmet. Uh, is it better than the Schubert? I haven't tried the C4. And I hear that their comm system on that one's kind of like this. It's, it's Ricardo. 
And of course, everybody says Cardo is better. I guess that uh, depends on what you use it for. I don't ride with 15 riders and we're all keeping communications between each other. I rarely ever ride with another rider beside me. So the comm system, as far as communicating between riders, <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Does it work? I haven't tried it. I don't know. I know making phone calls, listening to my music, could have better bass in the speakers, but eh, that's what you get. Uh, but making phone calls with this Senna system is about the easiest thing I've ever done. And the microphone on it, I mean, people swear that I'm sitting in my room, kick back watching TV. They, they cannot tell I'm on this loud Harley. And I'm not on these little back roads doing 30, 40 miles an hour. I'm going on the interstate doing 70 and 80 at, you know, highway speeds. They can't tell I'm on it. My son the other day called. He goes, you are not on the motorcycle. I said, I am on the motorcycle riding right now. He goes, Dad, come on. So I lifted up the helmet, turned my head sideways, and revved up the engine real loud. And he goes, well, I'll be dog. I guess you are. I could hear it that time. So say what you want to say about Cardo being the best. They may be if you want to talk to 15 different people. I'm not going to knock them for that. Those uh, talk packs, uh, the Slim and the Bowl talk packs and all that. Hey, it's great. Fantastic. Uh, I wish that they had made something for this helmet where I could try that too. <coughs> uh, I've never had any problem with Simmons. Uh, and this has only got three buttons. You don't have a jog wheel. You don't have a flip up antenna. You have any. You have three buttons, a plus, a minus, and a button in the middle. And it's extremely simple to work. It links up with my iPhone uh, 10s every single time I turn it on. <coughs> oh my goodness, folks, I have to dub that out. I just coughed in your ear. We still got some pollen out here. But I have not had to, uh, I've had no issues whatsoever with this helmet and um, dropping calls, communication, or connection, no problems whatsoever. It's been super fantastic. So I think they're all getting better, you know, I really do. I think the competition is fantastic. Uh, Cardo makes something that does this, then it's gonna come out and do something that does that. And it's back and forth and back and forth. And I do believe that each helmet and the manufacturer, you know, they, each helmet manufacturer is going to pair up with Cardo or Senna. And they're making a lot of these um, helmets that take these units that are made specifically for them. So I would hope that the helmet manufacturers, uh, all of them, would make the same kind of deal, you know, where I can take this Senna system off of this Neotech and put it on the Schubert or put it on an HJC or a Scorpion. Or, oh, sorry, I'm, I went down the wrong way. Sorry. I, I wish they would do that. I wish they would each have little cutouts on the side, little pockets for the ears and the mics, so that your systems aren't, you know, this system will only work with this Neotech 2. It won't work in the other helmet. Uh, it just won't. And I wish, I do wish one thing I wish Senna would have done that they did not do is I wish that they had put in a much bigger battery. Uh, they got, had tons of room in the back, that little place to put the battery in, and they didn't do it. They just made the regular, like, the 20S Evo, um, which I haven't had any problems with it. I've only charged it up twice, and I've used it nearly every day. So that's not bad. It's just they could have done better. Why didn't they? Anyway, if you can see, I'm going to show you. I have a microphone. It's right here. It's in this cheek pad. What in the world? Oh, okay, whatever. Getting some text messages. I have the task cam. <clears throat> oh, I did put that up. I got it. The task cam is recording. This goes in. I have a the mic wire comes out and it sticks right out back here. And I plug this wire into that and into here. And I make my recordings. <clears throat> Pretty neat little setup. I did it myself. I'm proud. Uh huh. But if you're thinking about getting one of these Shoei Neotex 2s, uh, you're looking at $600 to $800. 
Uh, you probably can find one on Amazon for by 50-ish somewhere. I do recommend trying them on first. Uh, I recommend taking out the cheek pads and putting the helmet on without the cheek pads putting pressure and see how it fits your cranium. Uh, that way you find out if the helmet's really true to size and you can adjust the cheek pads as needed to get the size that you want. But I don't recommend putting on a helmet with everything on there because sometimes tight cheek pads can make you think the helmet is tighter than it really is. So you go up a size when you really didn't need to and now you've got a helmet that doesn't fit your cranium the way it should. So pull the cheek pads out, test the helmet on, and if the motorcycle dealership won't let you pull the cheek pads out and try that helmet on, you probably should buy somewhere else. Um, I don't ever recommend buying a helmet online, one you haven't worn yet. Uh, with Shoeberth, I had to do that because Shoeberth, well, I couldn't find one anywhere in, in the States. Uh, so if you buy one online of a Shoeberth, just make sure they got a good return policy if it doesn't fit you and try it on if it's too tight or too loose, box it back up and send it back that day. Uh, that way they don't think you're pulling the funny things on them. But you put this, shoe, this uh, showy on, you're probably going to buy it because that is exactly what I did. The guy told me, he said, if you're not in the mood for a helmet right now, he said, don't try it on because if you try it on, you're going to want to buy it. And I've heard that sale pitch before, but dang if he wasn't right because as soon as I put it on, the first thing I said was, damn it, dang it. He goes, what? I said, yeah, now I got to buy it. And I did. And he cut me a deal. I bought it from a local dealer that I've done a lot of business with. So. Anyway, that's about it, folks. Y'all have a great day. Hey, folks. This is Cornholio. As always, thank you for watching my videos.